We're going to talk today about the definition of the derivative. So this is one of those big fundamental things in the study of calculus. It's what people uh, often think about when they think about calculus. Uh, it's taking derivatives. Uh, there's two different things. There's, there's the definition of the derivative, and then there's uh, these computational aspects. How do we compute um, a derivative or work examples? Here, for now, um, we're, we're really just learning what the definition is, and then we'll do some, some examples later. So here we go. First of all, I'll just write it down, and then I'll explain it. So let's take a look. So the derivative, it's going to be a limit. And by the way, the, if you take a function, y equals f of x, and I'll give you an example to keep in your mind. So say, keep in your mind, I don't know, maybe like that parabola x squared. And say that you just pick some point. We usually use the letter a. And I don't know, let's keep in your mind a equals 1. But we're doing the definition for any function um, for any point. And the derivative of function f at the point x equals a that's notated by f prime of a. And you, when you see that, you read that as the derivative of f at the point x equals to a. And it's defined to be uh, equal to this limit as x tends towards a of f of x minus f of a, all divided by x minus a. So there you have it. That's the definition. Goodbye. No, <laughs> just kidding. I'll explain it a little bit. Uh, so there's two pieces to this. And the first piece is the thing that goes uh, in front of the limit. So this is called a difference quotient just because it's a quotient of two differences. That's all. And what does this represent? So if you think back in your mind to earlier in the course, when we talked about secant lines. So remember you, uh, let's go back to our little example. So you've got x squared, for instance. And you picked a point, maybe x you know, equals, equals a equals whatever. And so here it is on the graph. It's um, a and f of a. And you could look at different secant lines. So imagine that x is really close to a, but I'm going to draw it far away so you can see it. And here you've got the point x, f of x. And you draw the secant line between them, which is just the line that goes between those two points. And if you want to find the slope of that secant line, it's change in y values over change in x values. So the slope of that secant line is going to be, um, look at, say, f of x minus f of a, divided by the change in x values x minus a. And so what you're doing is you're taking the limit of the slopes of the secant line as those secant lines, you know, as x tends towards a. And so the limit of the slopes of the secant lines, you'll remember that that's the slope of the tangent line to f of x at a. So this is the defined, the definition of the derivative. It's this limit. It's defined to be the slope of the line tangent. to f of x at the point x equals to a. And I'll try to draw that for you in another color. Let's use yellow. And this is probably going to look, you know, you can imagine to yourself as x slides closer and closer to a, these secant lines are going to get, you know, closer and closer up here, and you finally end up with the tangent line. 
looking, something like that. And so what this is telling you intuitively is that you take any function you want, say x squared, and through the point that you picked on the graph, a, f of a, you're looking for the line that best approximates the function. So there's many, many lines that go through a, f of a, like I could draw this one perpendicular. That would not be a very good approximation of the function because you're going outward in the wrong direction. But here, this is the unique line that gets pretty close to the function as long as your x values stay close to a. So that's why we study tangent lines. That's why we study derivatives, which are the slopes of the tangent lines. So there is your definition of derivative. It ties together everything we've used in the course so far because you need to understand a little bit about limits. You need to understand what's a secant line. You need to understand what's a tangent line. You bring them together, slope of that tangent line that's called the derivative. Here's its definition.